Hello, today I am excited. Excited because Benro have sent me for a long-term test a couple of their products. One of them being this lovely TMA48 CXL Mark III carbon fiber tripod, bit of a mouthful, and paired to it their lovely latest GD3WH geared head. Now, I've been using geared heads for many years from a rival manufacturer and I love geared heads. If you've never used a geared head in the field for landscape photography, you don't know what you're missing. And all the workshops that I run and my one-to-one -one training sessions out on location, when my clients see a geared head, more often than not, they go home spending some plastic. So thank you to Benro for sending this product, the TMA, and also I have an Angel travel tripod, carbon fiber to unbox and give you my initial thoughts on two. All three products will be used over the next few weeks and they will be told on video in the form of a review. See how we get on with it. Benro, beautiful piece of kit. I did see this at the photography show three weeks ago. So I already have an idea as to its quality. But in the box, one instruction manual and one Allen key. Pretty standard fare. And then on the inside is the head that's really encased in some serious protection. Fantastic. Now, there's not really a lot to say about this head. People have written to me knowing that I have taken delivery of it. Their main questions have been in relation to size, quality, and its functionality. So I'll try and cover a few of those things. Now, the first thing I noticed straight out the can is that it's a magnesium body. Now this helps to bring the weight down to 870 grams. Now the head that I currently use is 1.6 kilos. This is substantially lighter and substantially slimmer. So really this is a direct comparison, I guess, to the Manfrotto 410, which is a very, very popular geared head. And it works in much the same way. You have three levers and each lever has a quick release collar, which are these finger indented flanges. You turn that and the head will move very, very quickly in one direction or another. And then the minor adjustments are the rubber knob at the end. So it works in much the same way. Now I have to say that straight out the box, I'm very impressed with it. It's light enough, but it feels solid. Feels a good, good quality piece of kit. And for less than a kilo as well, that's pretty impressive. Now, it does come with an Arca style head plate. Now I use a different plate on mine, but actually using an Arca head or an Arca style plate will allow me to buy an L bracket and use the camera in either portrait or landscape orientation without moving the tripod. You set the tripod up and you have an L bracket on your camera that will work quite nicely and it will become much more usable for me. So, now the one thing I quite like about this particular head is that in order to remove the plate, you can unscrew the the knob, if you will, but it'll only go so far. Now the plate that they supply, if you don't run an L bracket, if you just run this rubber backed plate, is that actually it will not drop. So if you have your camera on the tripod and then you decide that you wanna go portrait orientation, the camera will not fall off the head. Very, very important, very important because I've got used to a safety catch on what I currently use, and that will be useful. Although to be fair, because I've been running an L bracket, that doesn't really matter. But if you were using this particular um, plate, to get it off, once you've turned it part way, you then pull and then continue its journey and it releases. So it brings back the ridge, if you will, the locking mechanism. So you turn, pull and turn again. So it's like a two-step system, which I quite like. It's a decent enough plate. So underneath you have a 
slot for a coin or you have the little I don't know a little handle that will pull out and you can turn it by hand quite useful if you never have a coin on you goes back in much the same way slides in just simply clamps up fantastic it also comes with three spirit bubbles so very very handy so basically all of your three orientations are covered um, it also feels very very smooth so I am looking forward to giving it a good test in the field but basically I think this is a particularly good piece of kit screws on your base has angled outer circle so the idea is that it places on your tripod and from underneath if you have that system you can screw up a couple of locking screws there are three on this particular carbon fiber benro so once that goes on and you can go from underneath and screw the three retaining bolts and it will lock on so you get a nice firm stable platform now on here it literally just screws on so that i can show you a little bit more clearly it screws on you tighten up the retaining brackets uh, the bolts underneath and this is it so you turn and you can turn in any direction with each of the three particular handles and just turn and that's it really so size wise people have asked me about the size in comparison to the manfrotto version so i'm just reading off here because i never remember so we're looking at dimensions on this particular benro 139 millimeters in width so a little under well a little over five and a half inches uh, 145 centimeters deep and 109 millimeters in height the manfrotto by comparison is 150 wide so a little wider not quite as deep at 100 mil at 125 millimeters in height so a little higher so they're both pretty comparable but the added advantage for me is that this only weighs 870 grams versus 1.2 for the manfrotto 410 and as far as i can tell this should do exactly the same job as the manfrotto the same capabilities i would say maximum weight load on this is six kilos on the manfrotto it's five so even though it's lighter it will actually take more weight so my first initial thoughts are that it is very well built very light very easy to move quite like the colors as well but hey ho it fits beautifully onto their own tripod now if you're fitting it to a gitso power base which is a very very wide tripod plate if you will the slight issue you'll have and not just with this particular make but also with manfrotto is that it will sit directly on it and then as you turn this knob to bring the camera up the knob will touch the base so you need to buy a manfrotto spacer to elevate the tripod head high enough so that when you rotate it back you've actually got the extra half inch or so in order to do that but if you're using it with Benro's own tripod where the head of the tripod column is quite slim not a problem at all not a problem at all so fantastic pieces of equipment I'm really really looking forward to getting out and getting them used so that's it my initial review and unboxing on uh, the geared head from Benro. I'm quite excited to put it through its paces. If it does the job as I expect it to do, this is what I'll be using from here on in because why carry more weight if you don't actually need to? Um, but as a pro that goes out quite often, certainly with clients, I don't want to sacrifice quality either. That is quite important. Weight is one thing, quality and durability is another. And if I found a product that will do both, I am happy, absolutely happy. So that's it for now. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, leave a little comment underneath. Thank you for your support. If not, that's fine. Share the video with people who you think may be interested in this head. Subscribe as well if you wish. You'll be notified of future videos, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. So that's it for now. Until next time, keep shooting, keep smiling. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.